Okay, so today I'm going to talk about my first week of eating and what I ate. I lost uh, over three pounds my first week coming back and exercising. And um, the real main reason for that was I didn't really change the, f the food that I was eating. I still ate a lot of junk, but I started fasting at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I stopped eating after 2. So here's what I ate during the week. Uh, my first week, so on Sunday, you know, Shakeology, banana, frozen burrito, coffee at 8 o'clock. 1.30 p.m., I had half a pizza, literally. Uh, four pieces of pizza, extra cheese, extra sauce. It was half a pizza, plus salad with, with ranch dressing. I had a chocolate ice coffee at Mango 6. So I was, you know, shoveling down the food. Um, I stopped eating at 2.45 on Sunday. Um, then at 6 p.m., I had another coffee. 8.45 p.m., I drank Shakeology. And I had a gallon of Kangen 9.0 water throughout the day. That was day one. Uh, Kangen's like a purified type of water. So on Monday, I went to work, and 7.40 in the morning, I had a Shakeology. 8 o'clock in the morning, I had my frozen cheeseburger, two bananas, and a coffee. 10.50 in the morning, I had spaghetti with meatballs and garlic bread. 1.30, I had glazed donut and a piece of pizza. Uh, and that was the last meal of the day. It was 1.30. 1.30 was my last meal of the day. 2.30 p.m. I had coffee. 6.45 p.m. I had Shakeology and I had a gallon of Kangen 9.0 water throughout the day. Tuesday, 7.40 a.m. I had Shakeology. Same thing as the day before. Frozen cheeseburger, two bananas, and coffee at 8 o'clock. Uh, 10.30 a.m. I had a piece of pizza, uh, spaghetti and meatballs. 11.49, I had an Utz sour cream and onion potato chips bag, a small bag. Uh, there, They had some kind of uh, meeting in the office, so they had really good Cuban food. So I had five bites of a Cuban sandwich at 12.20. Then 1.10, I had eight bites of a Cuban sandwich and some of the rice and beans. It was delicious. I had two chocolate chip cookies. They were amazing. That was the last meal of, my, of the day was at uh, 1.10. That was the last meal of the day. 7 o'clock I had Shakeology, and then I had a gallon of Kangen 9.0 water you know, throughout the day. Wednesday I had Shakeology at 7 o'clock. Same thing, cheeseburgers and stuff like I normally do in the morning. Uh, 10.40 I had Chick-fil-A grilled chicken club sandwich. 10.50 um, a.m. I had half a Chick-fil-A chicken wrap. 11.40 I had another Chick-fil-A grilled chicken sandwich, club sandwich. 1 o'clock, I had half a bag of the Utz sour cream and uh, onion potato chips. That was the last meal of the day. 1 o'clock, that's the key. That was the key for the first week was stopping eating by 2 o'clock. Then 2 o'clock, I had a coffee. At uh, 7 o'clock, I had my Shakeology. Again, Kangen water throughout the day. Thursday, everything was the same in the morning, but I changed to Arby's roast beef. So at 10.40, I had an Arby's roast beef sandwich, roast beef slider. 11.35, I had half an Arby's turkey and ranch sandwich. It was great. Arby's makes really good sandwiches. It's a lot of bread, though, and the bread doesn't help you lose weight, but whatever. I'll address that in the future. Um, 145, I had an Arby's roast beef sandwich. I love my Arby's, by the way. I really dig Arby's. It tastes good. <laughs> uh, 245, I had coffee. 8 o'clock, I had Shakeology, and I had my Kangen water throughout the day. Then Friday, I had Shakeology. Of course, I had the same things in the morning that I've been having. I had 11.10 a.m. I had pulled pork and two small brownies. They were delicious. I got it in all, at an all-you-can-eat buffet. I go in there and I, I bought the food the night before and brought it to work. I had a little chicken and sausage. 12.17, um, I had a small piece of chocolate cake and a piece of lemon cake. Lemon cake was really good. Uh, 1.15, I had a small brownie, a small piece of uh, chocolate cake and pulled pork and um, some Chinese chicken. That was the last meal of the day, 1.15. 2.05, I had my coffee, I had my Kangen water. So that's what I ate for the six days for my first week of trying to lose weight and get more healthy and uh, exercising. So I didn't really change the type of food that I ate. You, you wanna incorporate different habits and you know in order to lose weight long-term, you have to change your habits. So my habit, I was, and you change slowly. You can't change a lot of things at the same time. So you change one thing. You just change one thing, and my one thing was I'm going to stop eating at, by 2 o'clock. That's the one thing I was going to stop. I was going to eat you know, whatever junk food I wanted to eat and all that stuff. That's fine. I wasn't going to change my diet, but I was going to change when I ate. That was my goal for the first week. So my intermittent, intermittent fasting results, uh, my last meal was before 
2 p.m. And I did that every day, but I did it five out of six days, right? Five out of six days. And on the day that I didn't, I ate, you know, at 2.45. So I, didn't, I missed my mark by just a little bit. So prior to this week of eating, I've been eating, you know, a meal at 7 o'clock at night, you know, chicken, whatever. I've had some huge meals at 7. Uh, on Saturday, you know, I went to a Korean barbecue, ate, you know, till I couldn't walk. <laughs> and then I gained all this weight. I gained like 5 pounds the last week before I started doing this because I, ha I had to stop the craziness. So I lost 3.4 pounds in my first week, in my first six days of the intermittent fasting. I went from 211.6 uh, pounds to 208.2 pounds, and it wasn't because of my exercise and everything. I got another video on you know how I exercised, and the exercising really helps me and makes me feel healthy, and it's good for you. But in order to lose that weight, man, when you're past 40 years old, it's the food that you eat and your diet is is the big is the you know the big issue that you have to conquer. Um, I still ate a lot of sugar, junk food, but I stopped eating at two o'clock. So I will update this, you know, on a regular basis moving forward, and hopefully get down to about 185 pounds. Um, that would be great. I don't know how long it's going to take, but yeah, that's what we're looking to do. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. I will see you. Have a great week. Bye bye. Thank you for watching our video. Don't be a dumbbell like me. Please like comment and subscribe and good luck in your weight loss and fitness journey have a great day